welcome back for another video. We've got two double game weeks and a single game week in front of us. In this video we'll talk about which players are the best players to buy over game week 36 and the final three game weeks overall. With that in mind, if you'd like to enhance your FPL experience for what remains of the season and beyond, the Fantasy Football Scout members area has all the tools you need. It's updated after every match with data. The custom data tables are an absolute game changer. The season ticker, player comparison, and rate my team tools are also invaluable and they've got more planned. Click the link in the description to try it out for a month. So starting with the goalkeepers, and it's a double game week for Newcastle and Brighton, so Pope and Steele top the projections. Starting with Pope first then, projected 7.3 points. He has been a frustration, failing to keep a clean sheet in his last seven games in a row. That said, they do rarely concede more than one. Over that run of 7 games, 5 goals have seen just 1 goal conceded. Their doubles leads away in Brighton at home. And despite the poor form, the underlying numbers are good and in my eyes they'll still do well in game week 36. Top 4 is not mathematically sealed by any means. Liverpool are 3 points behind but one more game played. So we could see a solid defensive performance in the double. We've seen it before how it's the goalkeepers and defenders that can come out on top in doubles, especially late in the season with so much on the line. Still has become a risky transfer and I would avoid now after a poor performance in game week 35, 5 goals conceded against Everton, including a slightly unlucky own goal. As a steel owner I hope I'm wrong but De Zerbi might consider giving Sanchez a go again after that shock home loss. The only other goalkeeper worth highlighting is De Gea, who after still is top among all goalkeepers for projected points. They've been far better at home and this week they are home, they host Wolves. Man United still have it all to play for as well, so despite a howler from De Gea against West Ham, he might just be the best goalkeeper for the run-in. Moving on to the defenders, and the Newcastle back four top the projections, Trippi at top of 8.1 points. Captaincy is going to be very interesting this week. We've talked plenty about Newcastle's lack of clean sheets, so is that enough to swear with Trippier for the armband? Another headache for many managers this week is whether to bench a Newcastle defender for Trent or not. Trent hasn't blanked for seven games and Liverpool face Leicester off the back of conceding five to Fulham. A difficult one and if I were in that situation I'd very reluctantly bench Trent in favour of a Newcastle defender. Brighton of course double as well and as such Estepinha and Dunk are projected 4.6 and 4.4 respectively. It is a rough double for them though, both away games and against Arsenal and Newcastle. A bit easier to bench one of these in favour of Trent according to the projections this week. Chelsea at home to Nottingham Forest, so Thiago Silva sneaks in with 4 projected points but I'd avoid him due to the poor fixtures for Chelsea beyond game week 36. On to the midfielders and Matoma's top with 6.8 points. Interestingly Trippier was an 8.1, therefore reasonably ahead on FP Review's projections. Let us know in the comments what your captain plans are. Despite two extra fixtures from Matoma, over the final three game weeks Salah's actually projected more points, though of course about 7 mil separates the two. Salah's also on 6.8 points this week and it does raise an interesting discussion whether the double game week's a bit of a bait one, for captaincy at least, and we could be better off sticking with the more proven, reliable assets like Salah and Haaland. March has completely dropped off the projections after being substituted against Everton with what looked like a hamstring injury, looking very unlikely that he makes game week 36, so if you are a March owner, then Matoma and McAllister are the obvious like for like replacements. Just keep an eye on your money in the bank as March is around 0.4 mil cheaper and McAllister is due a rise very soon. It's hard to predict where the points will come from the Newcastle mids. Jonathan Willock and Bruno Guimaraes all projected about the same but I'd avoid them. Murphy misses out on the projections and he's also in a void despite the cheap price as there's every chance that Amaral gets a start ahead of him. After a couple of losses on the bounce and a couple of blanks in a row for Rashford the pressure is on to get a result at Old Trafford and Rashford certainly under the radar as a captain shout this week. Only 0.5 projected points separates him and the top of the table. When weighing up captaincy, 0.5 is negligible enough to consider going elsewhere rather than default into top of the table. On to the forwards and it's Izak and Wilson on top. So Izak actually top among all players of 8.3 points, slightly ahead of Trippi's 8.1. Again nothing in it, but if you're looking for a Newcastle striker, Izak on paper the better pick. Wilson was ineffective against Arsenal and brought off early while Izak was kept on and he played the 90, he looked more involved. There's every chance that they start a game each, perhaps even start together again, but the projections do favour Izak here. Haaland's projected 5.7, his minutes very up in the air though due to the game week 36 being sandwiched directly between two legs against Real Madrid in the Champions League. He is comfortably top in the league for expected goal involvement over the last six matches with 7.21 XGI, second being Salah on 5.03. 
And Haaland captain his last week can count themselves unlucky, as he was Gamic 35's second biggest XG under performer, failing to score from 0.98 XG, only Vardy fared worse. So should we ignore everything else and go for the captain obvious, or a punt on the double Gamic player? Fulham welcome back Mitrovic, who is back on the projections after serving his 8 match suspension. Credit to Silva, as Fulham have managed finding his absence, and Fulham face bottom of the league Southampton next. That said, it is hard to justify a punt on Mitro without any double game weeks to come. Welbeck sneaks in with 4.5 points, but it's worth mentioning that Ferguson's also available for selection, so the two could share minutes. The very last thing to mention is that Newcastle had the first kickoff in Gamic 36, so if we're lucky, we might get an indication as to whether Isaac, Wilson, or even both start. That wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. If it was useful, make sure you hit like and subscribe. See you soon for the next one.